channel. I recorded a really small video of my trip to the East Coast that I just made. I didn't plan it, I had nothing booked, didn't know where I was going to stay, didn't know what I was going to do. I just literally went on like a magical mystery tour, which you can do when you've got a camper van. And if the worst comes to the worst, you can always go home. <laughs> So um, I recorded some snippets from the trip. I hope you enjoy it. A few little useful tips to share with you. And I had the most amazing experience and I will show you that in the video. So let's get into the video. So I drove to Scarborough and it was very gray, rainy, windy, and I couldn't really find many places to park up and stay, but I checked on Pub Stop and there was a pub on Pub Stop that had a car park right in front of the sea. It shares the space with the Sea Life Center and it was nine pounds to park there for 24 hours. So I was okay with that and I had a drink in the pub but I woke up the next morning to this absolutely stunning view. I was blown away by the sunrise, the sound of nature, the fresh air. I just felt like the absolute luckiest woman on the planet to be seeing this beautiful world waking up without a single soul in sight. It was so lovely. So I went then and found this beautiful little cafe that overlooks the coast and had this amazing vegan breakfast. Look at that. And the place was just so cute. I loved it. I got my hiking boots and went for a walk over the tops. And they're quite high up. And I won't advise anyone to do this, but I decided to climb down a really derelict part. And there were like these heads bobbing, bobbing about in the sea. And I was absolutely amazed to see that they were like a big group of seals just kind of like playing around in the water. So I climbed down, I could see them, they were coming quite close in. You can just see a, a little head bobbing out there. <laughs> and then I decided to walk a, a, all the way back, but along the side of the sea. And as I was climbing over rocks, and it was a real climb to get back. I came around the corner and I was absolutely shocked out of my mind that there were just seals just kind of like basking out and this seal is like giving me a warning sign that is the sign of stress i didn't go near to them um, i was you know worried about stressing them out but i had to walk past them to get back to where i wanted to be and at the same time i was absolutely just blown away by what i was seeing what an incredible adventure it was turning into just like a rainy bleak visit to scarborough randomly and then having this amazing experience so cute so beautiful i managed to like walk all the way back to where all the surfers are um Caton Bay and then get all the way back up. I'd actually parked at a car park that was at the top of Caton Bay. Scared of 
of them biting me or just charging at me, but they didn't, thankfully. So it was time for me to get back to the camper van for some lunch. And I'd filled my fridge with just a few like bits of picnic food for sandwiches and some water to drink. I'd got some gorgeous little chocolate pots and the sandwiches I could use some vegan chicken. I'd got some bananas, this beautiful lemon cake from Bosch, which was gorgeous. I didn't eat it all, but it was beautiful. And what else is in there? Oh yeah, I had some cream cheese for the crackers, vegan garlicky cream cheese. And had a lovely picnic in the sunshine. So there is my little camping adventure. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will see you all sometime soon on the next adventure. Goodbye.